guys, what's going on everybody? My name is Blitzwinger, and ladies and gents, welcome back to another part in Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, of course, on the Nintendo Switch. This is part number four, so thank you so very much for tuning in to another part. We concluded World 1-4 on the last episode, and uh, we are now continuing to explore things furthermore. We have a crazy ginormous drawbridge here, seemingly, with a weird duck rabbit situation. I have so many questions here. Perhaps they're better left unanswered. Good point. That's exactly my feelings about that one. Uh, lots of questions and not really sure what exactly is going on there. Nevertheless, though, it looks like we're being led this way, interestingly enough. Huh. So this is somewhat of a maze up here. Sure, we're Kind of being told which way we're supposed to go, obviously. Oh, interesting. So we need to lower the light blocks. By the way, did you guys notice that rabbit right there with the light? It's like, what's going on with you, dude? Talk about the life of the party. It's not just wearing a lampshade. It's wearing the whole lamp. Yeah, that's a good point, too. It's got electricity running through its head, so that does not seem very pleasant. Oh, look at that. There's a piranha plant inside that lamp. Let's see, so that's a dead end. Can't go that way, can't go this way either. I can, not however, take this route. And that will allow me to access the treasure chest. So that's great. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. So I will go collect that. And we'll go from there, see what else is awaiting for us ahead. What have we got here? This is the Garden Hopper, a brand new 3D model, cool. So now we at least know what that means, that little, like, cube with the three arrows. It's a 3D model that we've collected, so we can view those models inside the museum. We have learned that as well. Which walls are... Oh, okay, so I can take two paths there. Can't go this way. I can't, however, go through using that bridge. That's interesting. I want to know where this leads. That's... that's a possibility. That's a dead end. I can go this way. Interesting. I cannot go this way, however. I can exit that. Can't go here either. Okie dokie. Where's that? Okay, so that's another dead end. I just want to be certain that I kind of know the lay of the land. Okie doke, so one, two, three. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Hurry up. So that will be number four. Number five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that was intense. Almost ran out of time on that one. That was a challenge and a half. Yikes. Okay, I think I should be able to just run back and see what we have here. Probably a brand new blaster. Yep. Looks like it. What is this one going to be? Ooh, the Rainbow Runner. And this one for is for uh, Rabbit Peach. Bad guy trouble melts like lemon drops. And dreams of butt kickings really do come true over this rainbow. Okay. So, taste the rainbow, kick butt using the rainbow? Is that what we're getting at? So that's a dead end. I can, however, go this way to check that out. And I think this is where they want me to go. Yep, because this is World 5. Okay. I hear somebody screaming, Mario! Oh wait, that's Luigi, I think. 1-5. Brother, where art thou? So... Oh! Okay, gotcha. So if I walk past that wall, it cancels out this particular chapter. Gotcha. What's that? Why does that say easy mode? This time we are on higher ground compared to our enemies. Did you know that you gain a damage bonus when you attack from above? Fire upon an enemy from this vantage point and see for yourself. So that's why we did more damage in that one fight when we fired from the top, remember? 
Like, I remember us doing that, and I was like, wow, that's kind of weird. Why did I do so much more damage here? So, that's, that was somewhat strange. Okay, I think I'll go this way. Because that still gives me, like, a covered position. Nice, 34 damage. That's great. And I will activate my ability here, because why would I not? So, I think... I mean, the problem is they'll just go around, so I think this might be my best cover. Just from there. There we go. Look at that. 47 damage with the critical. And then Mario finishes the job. That guy only had 50 HP. Yeah, he should be KO'd at this point. So now let's move on to Peach. Who we will use a super jump to get across... Darn it. Ah, this is so annoying. I guess I kind of have to do this. There's really not much better options ahead here. Yikes. Well, that stinks. Well, we shall end our turn for now. See what they do. They're probably going to use their jump to get up to us, right? Oh, wow, there's another rabbit there. I did not know that. Probably should have scouted the map better instead of just hitting uh, the fight button. So I'm fast forwarding right now, by the way. So that's why they're moving so quickly. That's going to be a clear shot. Okay, got gotcha. you. That was fair. That was a fair shot. But so will this be. Okay, so I think... This will be nice, because we'll do 20 damage. Super jump over to here. Then... Nice, 32 points of damage there. That is brilliant. Switch probably to... Actually... Let's see. Let's try the same exact strategy. And... Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's not a bad idea deal another. Wow, that was good. 30 damage. Now, let me use Mario. From here. To here. There we go. So that takes care of that rabid. Now, I should be able to take care of him as well. And switch to Luigi. Can I hit the other guy or no? Can't. I don't have a line of sight on him. Okay, well, 50% chance is better than nothing. Nice! That was great. Alright, it's your turn, enemies. See what you guys got. Yep. And that hurt, not going to lie. That was not pleasant. But I think we should be able to get the job done from up here. Clear shot. Only did 27 damage, unfortunately. So, what's the plan here? I guess do the same thing, right? Get myself in cover. Hope that the extra damage from up above. Nice! 46! Wow, that was great. That was really, really lucky. Like, super duper lucky. Okay. Well, this sort of stinks, but I have to go down there. To make sure we get a clean shot. Brilliant. Now, before I wrap up the turn... Uh, can I not 
Oh, okay. Attack is not available. This is not available. Okay. Let's just reduce the damage that we're going to take from him because he's probably going to try to damage us. He might actually attack Luigi, though. Like, he might move to the other pillar and then go for Luigi. Oh, sweet. Cool. So I did reduce the damage. Uh, that was definitely nice. And then... Now... I think... Well, I really didn't need to do that. That was kind of silly on my part. There we go. So, we'll finish that. Fight. Like this. Ta-da! See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a battle cleared! In under six turns, which means that it was perfect! Alright. So, I am a little bit concerned about this um, chapter, I guess. This world. A bit more than the others, because it was red, like the flag for it was red, right as we were walking in. So I'm guessing that probably means we're going to be having, like, a boss fight at the end of this thing. And then let's see what this is. How does this play into this? Oh, okay, so that heals us. We have some new boxes here, which seem to be flammable, possibly. Wow. Uh-oh, there's Luigi. Luigi, we're here to save you, buddy. Oh, there he is, the rabbit that we're after. Get him! It's the Super Merge! He's got the Super Merge headset! Oh no, he's probably gonna merge those two. The piranha plant. Yeah. Activate your merging abilities, go! Yep, that's what I thought. Here we go! Our first boss fight, ladies and gents. It's the Parabit Plant! The not... Is that how you say that? Nauseous Fireweed? Okay. Oh my goodness. Alright, so this is our first mini-boss. It's not a boss, but it is a mini-boss. So let's see what we're working with. So we have one enemy up here. The Garden Ziggy. We should be very easy to defeat, because they only have 50 HP. Then we have one enemy here. Wow, 300 HP. That's crazy. Then 50. Nobody up there. And there's another enemy up here. Wow. Okay, so we're definitely not in a great position. Like, not in the nicest spot, that's for sure. Alright, let's see. Where would this take me? That's definitely something I want to do, because I want to gain higher ground against these guys. So I think we will go for the damage. And luckily that was just enough to take him out. So now, I think I should be able to do the same with Luigi on the other side, right? Yep. But before I do that, I have to kind of think about what we're going to do with Mario as well. Because we obviously need to get him to safety. So let's bump him up for now. And then... Um, let's get Luigi over here. Get ourselves into cover. Okay. So I think... Do I have a line of sight on anyone else? Like, can I pick anybody else? I don't have any other targets, do I? Like, I obviously could just use Mario to take this guy out. That was pretty easy. Now, I will activate this for Mario, because I think that will pay off. And then no targets are in range. Okay. Well, let's see what we've got. I'm actually really interested to see how the plant moves. Whoa. Okay, so it, like, moves. I did not realize it would move this much. Yikes. Wait, what? That was an insane amount of damage. Did that, like, knock us out just now? Did we just lose Luigi, or is he still in this? 
Certainly hope he's still in this. I guess time will tell. Okay, he's still in this, but very close to being knocked out, actually. Oh, yikes. Okay, so first of all... Activate that. Then... Get this. Hop into there. Maybe I'll actually move this way. Okay, so I'm actually really interested to see what happens if I... ...use the flame effect to hit him. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I kind of have to do this in order to finish this fight properly. Okay, because that lets me take care of this guy, which is awesome, so I'm happy about that. I will activate this barrier. I'm really bummed out about the fact that I'm probably going to end up having to lose Luigi here in this fight, which is obviously not what I was going for. Why can't I super jump onto him? Can I not dash and then super jump? Okay. Good to know, I guess. A wee little bit odd, but... It is what it is. So I think I'll slide and then go back into this cover. Or... Yeah, I think... Or, I don't know, I'm like... I'm thinking maybe I should go the, the down this way. So that just does not seem like a very smart move, but whatever. We'll go for it. Hopefully that pays off. Can I attack here? There we go. Get that burn. Burn, baby, burn. Okay. That's a bummer. So, what are you going to go for? Oh, no. Okay, he went for Mario. Yikes, that's 55 damage. Critical damage. Not fun. Not fun at all. Okie dokie. So we can go down there. I could... Hmm. I'm like trying to think this through. I'm like, I could come down here to get a clean shot. Oh, I should have stayed up there because you get bonus damage from up above. I'm such a buffoon, man. So I will slide into him. And then... I need to back up into a defensive position. Like this, for example. There we go, 20 damage. Now, go for this damage. That'll be another 28. Down to 192 already. Oh, this is very dangerous. That's what I'm wondering. Like, do I have to... Will I be able to get a 100% clear shot from here? Nice. Especially because then I might be able to also flame him. Nope. Well, I can't hit him from here, so I guess that's a wrap-up of that fight. What's he going for? Oh, no. Oh, no. Only 5 HP left. Unrabid Luigi. Yikes. Okay, Mario. Here we go. Back into the fray. It would be zero from there. Can't even go that way. So what I could do here is I could probably hit him, then hide behind this corner, right? Just for additional damage. And then I have to hope that this... Oh, gosh. 
I was like, I have to hope that that hits him with a flame, but that did not work out, now did it? This is the biggest bummer about this whole thing, is that he will probably go for Luigi. That's why I would rather put Mario out front like this, so that maybe this thing attacks Mario instead, because he does have still health. So it wouldn't be like the worst thing ever, you know? Still out of range, my goodness. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have separated them the way that I did. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. That was 90 points of damage. Okay, but I now will be able to get a clear tackle with all characters, so that will be brilliant. So let's get a few extra coins. And now, tackle, then come back into the jump, then come around to get a clean shot. There we go. Very nice. Now I switch. I go, oh, whoops, how did I miss that coin? I go for Mario, then I jump over across. I'm not going to attack as him right now, because I do not want this guy to run out of range by mistake due to the fire damage. So instead, I'm going to run Mario across as well, into a slide tackle. Well, actually, Mario should get the victory here, I think. If not, then we will use Luigi, Rabbit Luigi, to get the win. Wow, we got it. Oh my goodness, what a fight. What a fight. Rabbit Luigi's like, wait a minute. What is happening right now? Or what? Why? Why? Oh no. Am I gonna lose Rabbit Peach now? No! Wait, I thought we <laughs> still managed to get a selfie. Yeah, I'm confused. I thought we defeated this thing. There we go. Get out of here. Oh, we defused them. Interesting. Another selfie. And will Luigi join the team now? That would be brilliant. It's an exact copy, except for the ears and the rest of the design. Ha, ah, so you're the other half of the fabled duo, Mario and L L Luis? Lyle? Lelwellini? Uh, well, all the same, welcome. Battle cleared perfectly in under eight rounds. That was brilliant. We get healed up, of course, which is wonderful to see. And brother, where art thou has now been completed to 100% perfection. Ooh, what is that? What are those 10 purple orbs that we just earned? Congratulations, you just unlocked the skill tree. Now you can upgrade your heroes. Also, by defeating the fur rabbit, or pear rabbit, sorry, uh, pear rabbit plant, you earned power orbs, which are exactly what you need to purchase things from the skill tree. Coincidence? Hardly. Let's go now to Battle HQ so you can spend your well-earned power orbs. Amiibo R&D. Amiibo R&D is where a rabbits experiment with those lovely figurines. Do you have any of them? Bring them to the new facility. And then we've also got the Buddy Dome. Hey you, quit hogging all the fun. Head over to the Buddy Dome near Peach's Castle to show off your skills with another player. And then Luigi has been unlocked. Just point him to the battlefield. The back of it, that is. Be sure to check Luigi's skill tree too. There are new weapons available for purchase at the Battle HQ. Wow, okay, so a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff has just gone down through uh, completing that one chapter. So with that in mind, ladies and gents, we shall wrap things up here for today, and we will be back tomorrow with a brand new episode in our already quite exciting adventure within Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle.